Hi guys, so before the video properly starts, I just wanted to thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And also, there is a constant buzzing noise during the video, and I tried stopping it, but there's nothing I could do, so sorry about that. Hello guys, and welcome to another video posted on my channel. It is time for the fourth match of the tournament. We have uh, Epicody 999 versus Cool Dude Arahim. And these two people are, um, there's something uh, quite unique about these two people because they are both subscribers with actually pretty big, uh, like, subscriber counts because Cool Dude Arim has around 100, I think he has 114 subscribers on his channel, which is quite a lot. And then, um, and then Epicody, well, he has, oh, and that's the, that's round one done. That was really quick. And anyway, so Epicody has 14.5k subscribers, so 14,000. That is a lot of subscribers. That was a very quick round. Um, Alright, let's go into round two, I guess. Alright guys, it is time for round two. So let's see if this is a longer round. I, I'm guessing it probably will be because that first round on Cavern was really, really short. But Epicody just went straight into kill, so... Uh, I'm probably just gonna go to a high place to kill myself. Bruh. Oh, that's it. Core Dude Arim has won the second round. I'm just gonna go to center so so uh, he can kill me. Oh, right, there we go. So, Cool Dude Arahim has won the second round, so it's now one all. So, let's see what happens in the third round. Alright guys, it is time for the third round. So, uh, leave your comments down below who you think will win, Epicody or Cool Dude Arahim. Personally, I actually do not know because I, don't, I haven't really played with these two that much. So, will it be Epicody or will it be Cool Dude Arahim? Let's see. Alright guys, now that I have died, uh, let's see what happens. So cool, cool Dude has got no armor but a diamond sword. And Epicody has got a f lots of armor, but what weapon is that? I think that's an... Uh, oh, that's a stick. Oh, no, that's a bow. Okay, so so Cool Dude has the better weapon but no armor. But Epicody has more armor but not as not as good of a, as a weapon. So, okay. Good to know. And they are really close to each other, I don't know... Oh wow, look at that. Epicody's right below him. And Cordu doesn't even know... Oh, does he? Oh, I think he was a bit suspicious. Oh, potions have been thrown. Cordu Darahim is staying in the... Oh, alright, so he's going to go up the ladder now. Epicody's gone up the other ladder to go to a higher height. So, Epi so Cool Dude Arahim is running away right now, but, um, and then Ep Epicody is starting to slowly make his way towards him, I think. Um, alright, so he's in the dining room. Epicody is, okay, he's right here. They are slowly getting towards each other. Cool Dude Arahim just got some boots, so at least he's got some armor now. Um... Oh, Epicody just would have missed him. They can see they're each other's name tags now, so it's easy to point them out. Point them out. So, Cordu Darahim is getting some chests from centre. Epicody's gonna go shoot him now. Oh, he misses the first shot. Oh! Epicody kills him straight away. I think that would have been a power five bow, so lucky him. Alright, guys, let's see what happens in round four. Alright guys, it is time for the fourth round and possibly the last round if Epicody does win because he's won uh, two of the matches and Cordu Darahim has only won one of the matches. So, will the winner be Epicody or will it be... I can't get up! Cordu Darahim. Let's find out. Alright, now that I have died and so is the other spectator... Uh, so Epicody is in the massive, massive ice block in the air, and where our uh, Cordu Arahim is on the opposite side. So he's got no armor, but an, it's an okay weapon, I guess. But um, oh, still no armor. 
Uh, that's not really that good to be honest. He needs more armor. Epicody's got a lot more armor with a weapon and a bow. So loot wise, it looks like Epicody is going to win. Which means that he'll win the whole match if he does win. So Cordu Darahim is going to have to get more loot or really bring out his A plus game. Oh, and Epicody is shooting him. So Cordu Darahim is really vulnerable in the situation. So Epicody is going to strike. And if it was me, I would strike at Cordu Darahim because he has hardly any loot. It looks like Cordu Darahim doesn't know what to do. To be honest, I don't really know what I would do in this situation either. Okay, so he looks like he's. Uh... Oh, okay. Where's Epicody? Oh, okay, he's all the way over here now, so he's quite far from um, Cordu Darahim, so we may give him a chance to get some loot. Uh, Alright, so he's going to get that. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. I don't I don't think Cordu Darahim knows what he's doing. Okay, here we go. So he's going to get this chest now. This should get him... There we go. That's some much better loot. Oh, Epicody tries shooting him twice. Doesn't work out for him. Uh, that is a very look, weird-looking car right there. Uh, why would someone have end portal frames in the back of their car? That's weird. Um... Epicody is oh Epicody's like on the opposite side of like this sec of this section to Cordo Arahim. And alright, so he just come out came out and he is starting to make his way towards Cordo Arahim and he's uh, he's gonna go take some shots but he's not really good enough place like to shoot him right here. You could shoot him here actually. Oh he misses. Cordo Arahim is taking cover behind the tree and he goes back inside the house, okay. Go down the steps. Recorded our him is swinging his pickaxe, hitting the air. A bit weird. Hmm. This is a very long game so far. Like it is. It, I mean, it could be the last round uh, for this match, to be honest, and the last ever round for Cordud Arahim if he loses. Or oh, Cordud Arahim nearly just got shot. Oh, there we go. Epicody got shot. I wonder what um, enchantment that is. I bet that's probably either Power 1 or Infinity. I don't think it's Punch. So, Cor see, Cordud Arahim is just taking his arrows. And Epicody tries placing down a TNT, but that doesn't look like it work. And it looks like Cordud Arahim is going... Oh! Oh, here we go. Is this it? Okay, Cordid Arahim is looks like yeah, he's gonna run away and I think Epicody's gonna chase him. Oh no! Oh Cordid Arahim just tried went for it, went going for it. Okay, Cordid Arahim is definitely running away now. He's gonna drink some regen. And uh so Epicody's now you know, he's gonna he's gonna go back to fight him. And then Cordid Arahim is sta he's sta he's always staying in that area of the map. That's not the whole map, Cordid Arahim, you got a lot more place to go, and here we go, they're fighting! Who's going to win? Who's going to win by TNT? And Epicody is the winner. Cordy Darahim was sadly blown up by TNT. But that is it. Epicody is the winner of the fourth match of the Battle Minigame Championship. So, congratulations Epicody. You are now moving to section two of the tournament. So, well done. Sadly, Cordy Darahim, you won't be moving forward. But still, thank you for playing. So, I really hope you guys, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure to check out Cordu Darahim's and Epicody's YouTube channels. Um, you can probably find them in the comment sections of some of my videos. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next match of the BMGC. So, bye guys.